Hi there, I hope you're all doing well. If you're a returning viewer, thanks very much. If you're new to this channel, my name is Ian, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm doing some upgrades to my van. I've got two windows to fit in the back doors here. I'm getting ready to go to Germany in a couple of months to follow Scotland at the Euro 2024 football tournament. So I'm doing some upgrades the now to get the van ready for that. And if you'd like to see those travels to Germany and my adventures and fall in Scotland around, please subscribe. That is the two rear windows for the back doors and that is the curtain and rails for the side passenger door. First thing I need to do is remove these trims off the rear doors. Now, this black line that I've drew here on both the doors is the area that needs cut out for the windows on both the doors. So I'm going to drill pilot holes different points to cut these sections out. Now that I've got these pilot guide holes, I will draw around here and I'll cut it on this side because it's a flatter edge so it shows me where to cut out the shape for the window. And there we go, so all that piece there will be cut out for the window. So I'm now going to touch in all the bare metal edges that I just sanded off there. Now I'm going to repeat the exact same process on this side here. So I've put the trims back on on the inside just temporarily so that I can just mark out from here the exact shape I'm going to need to cut out for the windows from the inside. Saves a lot of guesswork. This is the glass primer wipe they give you. So you clean the glass and you also clean the panel of the van where the windows go. This is the primer that goes on the window and on the panel of the vehicle before you put the bonder on. And I've got the window bond sitting in a bucket of warm water with boiling water as well. It helps soften up the window bond. Easier to put on. It's always better to have some of the tape up, pre-prepared when you put the window in place. That is the windows in place. Uh, I've got plenty of masking. You can have up too much masking. Hold them in place. These we folded up as a cardboard. I uh, don't have any small rubber wedges that you put in there. That just stops any movement from sliding down. So I will leave that till tomorrow afternoon and I will come and I will remove the tape and stuff. Clean the windows off, see what it's like with the new windows from the inside. There we have it. Two windows fitted. And that's them from the inside. I just need to finish it off by doing the inside trims. I'm going to make my own thermal window inserts for the two backs 
and I have a cur set of curtains and curtain rails to fit for this window. So that there is the area I need to cut out for the inside trims. So here's the thermal insulation there and as you can see here this is what we've got, this is the material we're using. I'm sure you can guess what this was. It was an old curtain and I will cut, draw around, cut the shape out, spray adhesive, stick it to the insulation and I will use magnets. For the meantime I will possibly buy suction cups to go on to hold it in place against the window. magnet strip there you go like 95% of things on this fan it's DIY homemade and there we have it some quick cheap and easy coverings for the rear door windows that anyone can do themselves that is the trims back on and the window covers in place all that's left to do is I need to get some curtains and get some more of the rubber to finish off this edge here. But other than that, job's done. Thanks very much for watching. Like I say, I'm going to be doing a bunch of upgrades to the van, a bunch of different wee maintenance jobs to get me ready for Germany to fall of Scotland in the summer. So if you'd like to see that, remember, please a wee subscribe. Thanks very much. Peace out.